Hi, in this video of C programming, we will discuss about arithmetic operators. As in the previous video, we have already given a look on the operators like what an operator does. So these arithmetic operators which we are going to discuss in this video particularly will help us in doing some arithmetic operation like adding, multiplication, subtracting and division. So here we have some list of operators which we will cover under arithmetic operator like plus operator is used for adding two numbers, subtract means hyphen, symbol is used for the subtraction, asterisk symbol is used for multiplying two values, slash means forward slash is used for, division, for the division, uh, modulus means this percentage symbol is again used for the division but it will take the remainder part. When you divide two numbers, one is quotient and another one is the remainder which you get. So this slash symbol will take care of the quotient part while this modulus symbol will take care of the remainder portion. After that, we do have some shortcut operators, shorthand operators like plus plus and minus minus. Plus plus symbol will increase the value of any numeric variable by one while minus minus will decrease the value by one. Here we have a quick example which you can have a look like first of all I defined a couple of variables like a and b because most of the operators which we have discussed are the binary operators means operators having two operands and one more variable c for storing the result. So first of all we added two numbers so 21 and 10 will get added and we will see the value. Similarly, a minus b means the subtraction will be done and again we will see the result. Then a multiplied by b means 21 will be multiplied by 10 and then we will see the result. In line 4, we will see the quotient part of this division. Like if I will divide 21 by 10, I will get 2 in the quotient and 1 in the remainder. So in line 4, when we use the slash symbol means the division symbol, we will get the quotient part which is 2 and here in the line 5 when we use the mod symbol we will get the 1 means the remainder. Then a++ which is the shorthand operator for incrementing the value. But again they comes in two different varieties. One is post increment another one is pre increment. As here you can see c is equal to a++ so in this operation two tasks are going on. First is incrementing the value and another one is assigning the value in C. So as I said it is the post increment means the increment will be done later and before the increment will take place the value of A will be assigned to C. So here you will get uh, means if A is 21 so here C will get 21 and after that the value will be assigned on A. So A will become 22 later. So here when you will print the value you will find 21. But here again what I did? I did the post decrement means the assignment will take place before the decrement. So by the time the value of A will be assigned to C, it will be 22 and later the value will be decremented again to 21. So when you will print here, you will get 22. But now remember the value of A is 21. Now again here you can see plus plus A, this plus plus A is pre-increment means before the assignment of value in C the value of a will be incremented. So here plus plus a that means this 21 will again become 22 the a will become 22 and then the value will be assigned to c. So again in line 8 you will observe that you are getting 22 in the result and finally in line 9 again you can see pre-decrement. Pre-decrement means the decrement will happen before the assignment. So this 22 will become 21 again and then the value will be assigned to C and then you will be able to see the value. So let's have a look on this particular program practically and see by doing it some more changes. So let's have a program now.
So here for implementing the arithmetic operators here we have defined three variables a is equal to 23 b is equal to 10 and c where we will store the result. So here inside uh, whenever I want to do any arithmetic operation between a and b I will use the particular operator as here in the first statement I have used a plus b which will actually sum the value of a and b and then it will be assigned to c. So when you will sum up 21 and 10 it will give you 31 which will be assigned to c and later you can print that value. Similarly you can also use the subtraction that is the hyphen symbol for m subtracting the value of a to b and if you will do that so 21 minus 10 will be 11 and then that will be assigned to c. Don't get confused every time when we are doing any operation the value of c will be overwritten like first of all it got 31 due to the sum and later after subtracting the values it the value will be overwrite and then it will get the difference that is 11 in this case and throughout this implementation for these lines the a and b value will remain same. Now let's take the third one still the value of a is 21 and b is 10 so when you will do the product of that it will give you 210 which will be again assigned to c overwriting the previous value and then we will print that. Next is division so when you will divide the value 21 with 10 in the remainder you will get 1 while in quotient you will get 2. So here in the first part when I use the slash that is division operator it will carry the quotient part and C will get 2 while in the modulus that is in the percent symbol it will take the remainder part so in this particular case it will get the 1. So if I will execute so uh, from line 1 to line 5 what we will get? In line 1 we will get 31, in line 2 we will get 11, in line 3 we will get um, 210, in line 4 we will get uh, the quotient that is 2 and in line 5 we will get the remainder that is 1. So this should be our output so far. So let's execute this and see for these first 5 lines the output is same like 31, 11, 210, 2 and then 1. Now let's talk about the increment and decrement operator that is the shorthand operators. So here you can see like initially I have used the post increment. When I say post increment that means out of the two operation. The two operation means one is assigning the value of A to C and second one is incrementing the value of A. So there are two things which are going on in this statement out of which the increment will be happening later means it is a post increment so uh, before the increment the assignment will be done so at that particular time the value of a will be assigned to c the value of c would be 21 because a will be 21 by the time we have assigned the value but later as soon as I have assigned the value the after that value will be increased and then a will carry 22 but after assigning the value so by this statement the value of a will be 22 and again you can see like this is post decrement so before the decrement will happen the assignment will take place so current value of a is 22 because of this increment which happened later so the value of C will be 21, 22 in this case and after that the value will be decreased again to 21. Now in line 8 what it will do is it will be a pre-increment. So before assigning the value to C the value of A will be incremented. So since after this statement the value got decremented and a again became 21 so now it will first become 22 and then it will be assigned to c so if i'll print that value so what will happen it will say 22 and in the last one what it will do it is pre-decrement means 
before assigning the value we will decrease the value by 1 so first a will become 21 and then it will be assigned to C so again it will be 21 so let's again execute and see for the last four statements whether the output is 21 22 22 21 so you see 21 22 22 and then 21 so this is how your arithmetic operations actually gets executed.